Hi, John Valvano here, and let's have fun. This is the fun part, and that is laying out the PCB. So I've uh, removed the design manager, inspector, and selection filter, so I'd have more room. Okay, let's begin with uh, let's begin with the layers, just like the PCB. That's like the SCH. The PCB has layers. Uh, red will be the top copper. Blue will be the bottom copper. And then there will be pads and vias. And uh, 20 here is the dimension. That's the size of the T uh, PCB. And then all of these uh, 20 through 28 are silk screen. Now, it turns out when we build it, you're not going to be able to see 26, uh, 27 and 28. So what I'm going to do is re, uh, remove them. So I'm going to begin here by looking at the, um, about the labels here for my switches. And then, uh, for each of these switches here, I'm going to move the, the silk screen into t layer 25. Uh, so that I can see, so you'll, you'll be able to see the silk screen. Uh, it's an option. If you want to see left, right on the PCB, we're going to move it up to layer 25, which is a silk screen layer that, that we will be able to see. All right. So I do that for my switches. I can do that for my LEDs. All right. So if I look at my LEDs here, uh, the red here. Oh, that's already 25. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, there we go. Um, uh, okay, so the idea here in this stage is to be able to uh, physically place um, all of the components so your game is fun and nothing overlaps. So we're going to start with the biggest things first, and that's the launch pad. Now you can see I place here the launch pad actually on the bottom of the PCB. So looking from the top, the launch pad's on the bottom. And the display, the LCD, is on the top. So if you want to move something, you got to remember where it's um, where its cross is. And so for the launch pad, its cross is right there. So I'm going to click on it and move it. Okay. So the my idea here is the two buttons on the launch pad are um, the two buttons on the launch pad are actually right here and right there. So I'll be able to touch those with my index finger and my um, and, and my long finger. Okay. And then I'm going to move. Uh, okay. I overlapped this here. Sorry. This one here is the LCD. Yep. So I click on it and I'm going to move it over here. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to arrange this particular game. My uh, top is going to be up there. My bottom is going to be down there. And then I'm going to use my joystick. Again, I'm clicking on its cross. And I'm going to use my uh, right thumb to move the joystick. I'm going to build my DAC over here. Leave myself a little bit more room. All right. Okay. So then I'm going to move my switches in a star shape. That's the down switch. There's the right switch. Here's the left switch. Again, uh, the closer it is to each other, the easier it will be to use uh, my thumb to uh, to move it. Okay. So again, the other two switches are here. So I might move it down a little bit. Now you could spend your whole life, hours and hours and hours, making everything perfect, uh, but uh, okay, so I'm going to line those up. So there's my star switch. I'm going to move my LEDs up here. Again, the launch pad's on the bottom, and the LED is on the top. So that's okay. That won't be in, in our way. All right. So I've placed the things I'm physically going to interact with uh, first. Okay? And that will become my engine or my game, uh, my game motion. Again, I'm going to use my uh, thumb to push these four buttons. And I'm going to use my other thumb to slide the pot and my bottom fingers can hit this button and that button. Okay. So now I'm, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, sort of generally place things where I need it, um, uh, to, to perform the operation. Now, uh, this audio jack is a fairly heavy thing. Uh, and so I'm going to have 
the wire to the um, audio jack come out the bottom so it will naturally tilt up. Okay, now you remember the launch pad has a USB cable going up. Uh, so I might want to rotate it uh, so that it's not in the... Uh, no, I'm going to leave the switches down there. I want all the switches on that one hand. So again, you could rotate, you can flip, and so I'm going to move my audio jack. So I, I, basically what I'm doing here is sort of doing them one by one. Okay, uh, and these two are now overlapping, so I'll move this guy over here. This guy is now uh, not in the center, so I'll move it over there, okay? Um, okay, <clears throat> the, the, the DAC is built out of these resistors, and the yellow lines here will rep a car called air wires, and they'll rep they represent traces that need to be need to be done. And so for instance, if I'm when I'm moving this resistor here, okay, you can see that I'm going to minimize, I'm going to and I can rotate, okay, I'm going to minimize the air wire. Now this resistor is actually on the top and the launch pad is on the bottom, so I'm okay. So I'm going to move this resistor. Again, a right click will rotate it. Okay, and again, I'm trying to minimize the the distance of the air wires and minimize the crosses. You see these two air, air these two uh, air wires cross, and so if you don't care, I could have moved this guy over there, this guy over here, this guy over there, this guy over here, to and then I just oops, I don't want to move that. I want to move the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, click. And now you see my those two air wires here no longer cross. Okay? All right. So, um these are the res these are the pull up resistors for my switch. And again, they can go here on the top because the launch pad's on the bottom. Okay? And this one you can see is associated with my down, so I'll put it there. Uh this one is associated with my right, and so I can put it here. Uh, this one, you can see it's associated with the left, okay? So I can put it here. That uh, was one more resistor, where'd you go? There you are. I want the whole thing. That, I'm moving the Z. Z. All right, click on it again. I want the whole thing. There we go. Okay, so it's going to go uh, here. All right, so again, I'm looking at the air wires that I just created. Um, and now you can't get rid of all the air wires. All right. um, uh, this is going to be... Okay, let's see what else I got. My my speaker. I've I've created two different ways in which I can connect my my speaker, and so I'm going to. You see how the how I've created a cross here. So I'm going to uh, rotate it. There we go. That uh, don't matter. Oh yeah, that's my DAC out. Okay, my DAC out is over here. Yeah, that's the DAC out. This is the, um, now if you miss it, you hear it dinged. Okay, so this is a uh, the test point for my DAC out. Okay. Uh, somewhere in here is the Texas uh, jumper. Okay, you can see I'm pretty close here. I can rotate it. You see, I'm trying to rotate it so no air wires are happening. And uh, now these are both on the top, so I got to be careful not to put them in the same spot. Okay. Um, the UART's not too interesting, so I'll put it way over here out of the way. But again, I can't put it under here because that would be in the same spot, but I can put it under there. Okay. Um, and I took the, I took the, um, the what you call it the the um, 
three pin header without its without its doodah. So I'm over these guys here. Now, if you if you zoom in far enough, you can actually look at the the trace. You see, this is PD two, okay, which is the slide pot, okay. And so down here, when I should have taken those uh, labels. move that's the slide pot uh, this is going to be the DAC and the scope is the middle one okay so I made a mess here all right not too bad again these white traces are if you if I click on one of these you'll see that this is a 21 which is topside silk. Okay, so for each of the colors, they represent uh, different things about the device. And um, red is going to be what you call it. Um, red is going to be uh, uh, copper. Okay, so this is going to be my uh, test point for the slide pot, uh, which I don't know, I could put it here. Uh, again, I'm putting things down so I have the minimum amount of air wires. Okay, so now let's build the DAC. Uh, it helps to know what I what I just did, and so the you can see that this side of the uh, this side of the of the resistors represent the DAC. So when I put this down, I'm going to rotate them so it, they're all all over here. All right, so uh, move click on the resistor so I'm going to do a rotate okay uh, now the this was a 750 ohm resist uh, first element so um, what I have here is uh, these two in parallel okay so they're going to be in parallel so I'll show them in parallel it'll physically look wonderful okay uh, this one is um, uh, bit one. And so again, I'm rotating them around. Can you see this? This is going to be uh, bit zero. That's going to be bit one. This whole stream here is going to be the DAC. Now, as you know, the next bit is um, is in series. So again, I'm going to make it just because I'm just because I can. I didn't have to, but I'm going to make it look like they're in series. Okay. Now those overlap a little bit, so I'll move it over here. Again, I don't want two green things to overlap because those are the, that's the next bit. They're in series. Now, my next two are going to be in parallel again. Okay, move here. So I'm building my DAC. Okay, so this will be the next bit. And they're going to be in parallel. You can see this is the binary bit. And this line, this air wire here will be my DAC. Uh, then got one bit all by itself. Oops, too many clickings. So I'm just doing a right uh, right click just to rotate it. Okay, so that's going to be uh, uh, so that's bit zero, bit one, bit two, bit three. That's going to be bit four. And now this is a six bit DAC with the next bit twenty four. Okay, so there's my DAC. Uh, now I can move stuff around so it's a little bit prettier here. Got plenty of room. Move this up there. Uh, this can go over here. So this can go over here. And again, so it's not in the way. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see, what did I forget? Um, yeah, I got a couple of test points. Okay, so, um, now, depending upon how you want to do it, as you can see, these test po this is a test point of ground. Ground's going to sort of be everywhere. And so I probably, I got some space over here. That'll get out of the way. So I'm going to move these two over here. Again, the launch pad is on the bottom. Okay. So uh, these two test points here are going to um, be ways for me to test power and ground. Okay, I got one last uh, a fun thing, and that's the Longhorn. And where do I want to put my Longhorn? If you remember, uh, I got to get my name on here. I got to get 
Yeah, uh, yeah, I gotta get stuff, so I'm just gonna put it off in the, this will be a great big spot for which I can put my name when we get to the end. Okay. Now, if you wanted, you could have rotated all this with that and made it closer to your thumb. Um, you could change the side of the board, but not in this class. I would respectfully request for this particular um, class you not. This is an interesting part here. Um, uh, the the silk screen here is actually the part that sticks out. And so if you want to make the the thing a little bit easier to fit, you can actually move it down right there. And so the the this outer line represents the big black part and then the silver uh uh, uh jack part the the socket part will stick out. Okay, what else do we got here? This might be in my way cuz my thumb is there, so I'll move it over here. It doesn't make it any less useful. It's just uh, now not in my way, right? Because I'm going to be, uh, when I play the game, this thing is going to be my thumb. Um, if you want, I could put the audio jack on the other side. Let me show you that, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do here is I am going to, um, I am going to execute a, a, uh, a mirror, okay? All right, I'm going to execute a mirror, and if you remember uh, the way Eagle works, mirror is the command I'm going to use to put it on the other side. So the audio jack in this scheme is actually going to be on the bottom of the board because I don't I don't want it in my way of my thumb. Okay. All right, so I'm going to first click mirror, and then I'm going to click audio. And if it looks kind of funny now, doesn't it? And that's because it's actually on the other side. Okay, it's actually on the bottom side of the board. And so if you zoom in and look at this silk screen here, you'll see it's a 26, okay, which is going to be bottom silk screen. So bottom uh, silk, silk uh, screen, okay? Uh, okay, what am I going to do? Audio jack. Okay, so I put the audio jack on the bottom so it's not in my way of playing the game. All right, so uh, in summary here, what the first stage of the... Okay, I got forgot to move this. Okay, so this is like a whole bunch of things, so I got to do a... I, it's not one object, so I got to do a multiple. I got to do a select all. Now, you may want to wait to the end to move it, but I'll move it now because I can. Okay, I did a select all. I click move. I do a right click near here, move group, and now I can put this somewhere fun. Okay. Again, the uh, launch pad's on the bottom. And then I'm going to do a save to make sure everything works. Okay. Um, one last thing. I've got everything in place, so I can actually do a design rule check. Okay. Now, there'll be a lot of mistakes because I haven't, I haven't done any of the traces yet. Okay. So, but I'm going to check it anyway. So, I'm going to do a design rule check. And basically, the only thing I haven't done is 76 air wires, okay, which are things I'm supposed to connect, all right? And we'll do that in a, don't I don't want to approve them. I want to leave them. They're mistakes. All right. Okay. Um, there we go. That's the first part. Uh, the next part, we're going to start putting in traces.